Good morning, Eagles. My name is Savannah Ridgely, and welcome to Delaware News. And I'm Joey Arcaro. On this week's episode, you will get a look into our amazing ag farm, a view at students who came from countries outside the U.S., and a sweet surprise from Season 1. As many of you know, we had our first football game last Friday night. One of the highlights of this game include junior running back Tavon Ryan performing a 51-yard touchdown pass. He managed to keep the play going despite an illusion that he was stopped by Logan defenders. And there it is. And he keeps on going. Beautiful run, Tavon. Delaro varsity football team will be playing tomorrow in Oceanside, San Diego. Here in this clip, Tavon is going for a second run. However, he stopped mid-run. In addition, our defense displayed near-perfect dominance as Tyler Mateer, Tanner Woods, Brandon Johnson, and Emilio and Elias Campos tackled, sacked, disrupted plays, and recovered fumbles for Del Oro. It certainly was a great first game. Be sure to come check out Varsity Football versus Notre Dame on Saturday, September 7th. That sounds pretty cool. In other sports-related news, Del Oro Soccer suffered some losses on Tuesday as Whitney defeated the JV Golden Eagles by a score of 4-1. Varsity Soccer lost too, as Whitney defeated them by a score of 8-0. Let's wish them luck in their next games. Let's also wish girls tennis luck as they go into their Fresno tournament on September 6th and 7th. And please, don't forget about girls volleyball on the 7th at the Oak Ridge Tournament and... Girls golf at Wood Creek and boys soccer against Placer at Del Oro. Both of those events will take place on September 10th. But Del Oro isn't just known for its athletics. It's also known for its academics. That includes our school ag farm and the FFA. Yes, and to get an insight into its incredible farm, let's check in with reporter Philip Murillo and photographer Jacob Luz. Welcome to the ag and FFA program. We talked with Mr. Cole and students to get a better understanding. Hi, my name is Mr. Paul. I teach ag mechanics, welding machine shop at Delaware High School. It's about my fourth year here. Uh, I've been teaching a total of uh, 26 years. Uh, much, much, much happier to be here at Del Oro. Uh, this is actually where I learned to weld. I went to high school here at Del Oro High School and uh, graduated many years ago. So I learned to weld here in this shop. So. Right now we've, we've had uh, cattle shoots, we've had uh, trailers. Right now we're going to build a big uh, smoker barbecue for the school. Uh, it's going to be on a big 18 foot trailer. It's going to be a huge, huge uh, barbecue. Um, one of the major pro major uh, projects. So there's anything metal, pretty much we built. My name is Nathan. I'm a junior. I've been in FFA for two years, and this is. I'm Josh Kegel, and um, my, my friends call me Kegel, but uh, I'm a sophomore, and I've been in FFA for uh, well two two years. FFA improved me by getting this little feller right here. It showed me a lot of responsibility in like how to take care of something. If you want to become involved with FFA, I would strongly advise that you go see Mr. Boyack. Oh, you know, that's, that's a hard, uh, I got many, many, many stories about that because it is dangerous in here if you use the tools improperly. Uh, I have had a kid uh, one kid caught on fire, his coveralls caught on fire, and he ran outside and tried to jump into the water bucket, missed the water bucket, fell on the, the pavement, and then jumped back up and uh, then finally got into the water bucket, put his pants up. Wow, another example of why Del Oro is excellent. That was great, but you want to know my favorite thing about this high school? What's that? All the students who come here and call Del Oro their home. That reminds me, I know of some students who came here all the way from other countries. Really? In fact, we got the chance to talk to the students from some of these countries. Let's check them out.
Bonjour, je m'appelle Ella et je suis en deuxième année. J'ai habité à Paris pendant trois ans et au Rwanda pour quatre ans. Thanks guys for that special look. Now for the sweet surprise. It's me, Joey Arcaro versus the Eagle. Are you serious? You bet. The Eagle and I faced off in a vicious game of golf. I think the viewers watching are ready to see this. Hey, who do you think won, me or the Eagle? So for those of you who don't remember, when Deloro News was in its first season, we released a trailer for Joey vs. Eagle. This involved shots of me with a football helmet, a racket, and a baseball glove with no ball. It then switched over to a strange, however, really kind of awesome group of shots where I'm working out with one pound dumbbells under a single light. I then proceed to say, I'm coming for you eagles, in a very high pitched voice. Well, it's back. Hello Del Oro, I'm at Indian Creek Golf Course, and I'm here to take on the first of the Eagles, and yes, I'm wearing a kilt. Christine Springfield, captain of the golf team, I challenge you to a game of the golf. Challenge accepted. Not only does it say that I won on this card, but I got more points. So, as it is, another eagle down. And as we do with all challengers, we let them talk about their team afterwards. Christine? So, uh, Delaro Girls Golf is off to a great start this year. We started our season recently. It's it's really fun. We, we all get to go out and play together and our coaches are great and if anyone's interested in joining next year they can come talk to me or any other girls golf golfer. Awesome. Until next time, I'll see you Eagles. Nice job, Joey. Thanks, but I've got to give the Eagles some respect too. She certainly put up a nice game. And if there's anyone out there who wants to challenge me to any game, email deloronews at gmail.com. Sounds good. And please, join the Black Hole Club. They will meet this coming week, Wednesday, at 7.15. In other news, auditions for Delaware's Fall Play Towards Zero will begin next week. Auditions start Monday and will continue through Wednesday after school in the Performing Arts Building. Well, thank you for watching this week's episode of Delaware News. I'm Joey Arcaro. And I'm Savannah Ridgely. You stay golden, Eagles.